what the studies have looked at. They've looked at men, first of all, these are all men, and they're on testosterone ranging through anabolic steroids. What is that? They're looking at violent criminal behavior, first of all, versus what we're gonna talk about in the end, which I have tons of experience as an anabolic expert in the world for over a decade, guys that are just irritated and their quality of life is not right. With existing psychological issues, including mood disorders, real depression, bipolar depression, anxiety conditions, including general anxiety disorders, and a range of personality disorders. But in the end, they could not generate an establishment for causation. And in the studies, so you guys know that I work from the chin down, internal organs, from the chin up, that's a whole other frontier. Very humbling. The other contributing factors that led to confounding statistical analysis. They compared steroid users to non-steroid users. Let's discuss the more common and real aspects of what happens when men use steroids leading to roid rage. As I've been working with thousands and thousands of men over many, many years, in my expert opinion, I'm gonna go into now anecdotes and what I've seen across the board. And this is just my take. We've never had any studies, conclusive studies on this, and we need to do it. One man almost threw his wife and a man she was talking to just at an upscale resort somewhere through a plate glass window, taken out by the police and called me after hours. Another man, aggressive behavior in court. It's a lawyer. He's an aggressive lawyer. You want an aggressive litigator? Who does? They take testosterone and they end up having panic attacks and just worse anxiety and crying, bouts of crying and just, just generalized suffering. And sometimes you have to work with other uh, experts and psychological experts and there has to be other mood stabilizing agents and antidepressants on board. Please, that's just why testosteronology is so inherently important to have a caregiver who's an expert to work openly with men. And But most men feel great on testosterone. Absolutely, they get that buzz. What other contributing factors are there? Again, in summary, mood disorders. There's personality traits. People have different personality traits. I think that is where you do have the saying, Doc, you use such small doses, you try to balance, be careful of the aromatase inhibitors and Clomid, but you use these drugs and it works. You have to balance each man, as I say, under the wing so carefully, so carefully. Each man will need to be seen by an expert testosteronologist that needs to be with a detailed history and physical exam. Thank you so much.